church membership is declining by big numbers. Uh, it's no longer a steady decline. You know, there have been some drops. Your, your first reaction to that, what you read? Well, it's always a bad thing, I think, when people lose any kind of a moral center. And I think that is possibly one view of what's going on, that we could rely on churches and synagogues and mosques to give people a, a moral center. And to the degree that people aren't thinking in terms of morality and spirituality, I think that's not good for human flourishing. On the other hand, another way to look at the data is, of course, this is a response of people self-reporting. Are you a member of a congregation? Do you attend? Another interpretation is that people are simply being more honest about the truth. Uh, it could be in the past that more people claimed to be a member of a church or a synagogue or a, a parish uh, when in fact they really didn't go and didn't live it because it was sort of culturally expected that you be a part of a church. You go to a a community and your neighbor would say, what kind of church do you go to? We'll help you find that kind of church. I don't think that happens as much anymore. There's not the cultural expectation. Everybody ought to go to church. So I do think that has changed. But the flip side is that I think those that do go are probably more committed than ever before. So I, I think churches are deeper though perhaps not as broad as they used to be. People who are intentional and go to church, go to church because they really do believe what's being taught and preached there, or else there's, there's no reason for it. Well, our nation is divided in so many ways, and I do believe that worldview is one of those things. And I think that people who tend to go to church, uh, it's not that everybody goes to church has the identical worldview, but the fact is they do have a co more coherent worldview. I think people that aren't as intentional in thinking through issues of morality, eternity, life and death tend to not be as focused in worldview. And uh, so I think that is a divide even in simply the way we're thinking about living life and ultimately dying. So it, it's reflective of a, a a divide that is happening in our nation in, in many ways. Is it more normal though, the huge decline was in millennials, the younger people, but is it true that when people get older, have children, then they may turn back to that yeah. spiritual element. So is this kind of normal? It is very common. We see this a lot that kids that grow up in church and they're in the youth group, they go to college and they sort of disappear. They're not, they, they don't find a place at university or college, wherever they go and plug in there. When they later get married and become more serious about life, have children, a lot of times they do come back. You know, the thing about the millennial generation and Gen Z behind them is these guys, whatever they do, they, they are all in. And whether it's posting on Instagram, I mean, they're gonna live that and do that every day, it becomes a lifestyle. But frankly, when they express faith in Christ, for instance, that uh, my experience is the ones that do that, they're all in. They're really not interested in having their faith be a small part of their lives. I think they will reject it entirely but if they accept it, they're not accepting it as a part of their life and worldview. It becomes the dominant thing. So my experience with Gen Z and millennials is once they're in, they're really in. And in a way, I think that sometimes puts their parents and grandparents to shame because some of us grew up with a cultural Christianity, a, a sort of a, a, a almost a secular communion in certain ways. Uh, by just the nature of going to church and becoming a cultural thing. Everybody dressed up and went to church. We no longer have that shared experience with everyone, but when these millennials and Gen Zers, when, when they really accept uh, the truth of the gospel, for instance, they are committed. I mean, they're they not just gonna go to church, they're willing to go 
to the mission field. I mean, we've here, here at Buck Run, we planted a church in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we had a lot of our young people, a college age and young marrieds completely uproot their lives and move to Fort Collins, Colorado to help us plant a church. Uh, I think I could not have gotten their parents' generation to do that as readily as they did. Once they're in, they're in. And I think that's the upside of this data is that those that are committed, they're not doing it simply because it's the cultural expectation. They're doing it because they really genuinely believe and buy into a biblical worldview.